everyone. We are super excited. We are back for session two of our virtual vision board party. And I got to tell you guys, I am on cloud nine right now. Um, one of our participants had a meeting at the same time, but she wanted to participate and she sent over her vision board for me to share. And, and man, if let me tell you guys, I'm so excited about what we are able to accomplish as just a part of us taking time out for ourselves, guys. Um, first of all, give yourself a pat on the back and get excited for you. Like you have to celebrate yourself because if we don't learn to celebrate ourselves, no one else in the world will show up to celebrate us. And the thing about it is we won't even qualify we won't even qualify for anyone to celebrate us unless we first celebrate ourselves. But how are we going to celebrate ourselves if we don't have success? And how are we going to have success if we're not intentional on having success by actually setting up a game plan for our lives? Don't you know that like sports groups, they have a coach and they give them the game plan and they say, okay, run the play. However, for our lives, we don't have any play to run. And we need to do that. Like we are worth it. We are worth it to coach ourselves to success. And the beautiful thing is that we know what's best for ourselves. I know we think our pastor have all the clues and we think our grandmama have all the clues and our best friend have all the clues and our mentors and our success coach have all the clues. But I got to tell you guys, oh my goodness. You have everything you need to coach you, I promise you. So let's get started. I, I can't wait to see him. I'm excited. All right. So, all right. Let's start with right here. Okay. So what we discussed was our vision board section. So as we, as this is part two, we broke down the five sections, which is our spiritual development, our personal, our physical, our relational, and our financial. So what I'm going to suggest that each and every one of you do is that you join me. Um, I put myself on a 90 day challenge that I am absolutely positively going to intentionally impact my life. What I realized was that um, I lived in Ricerstown, Maryland in the year 2016, I'm gonna say. I remember Think and Grow Rich reading that book, listen to the visual of Think and Grow Rich. And it was talking about how you have to document your strengths and you have to document your action tasks and, and your action plan and what tasks you have to complete to be successful. I remember in 2016, sitting there thinking about it and I never wrote it, but I read the book. And I actually listened to the audio book multiple times because I wanted to get it in my spirit. However, I never wrote it. That's the missing key, guys. We have to visually see it, but we also have to write out the plan so that it can be intentional. So in 2021, five years later, I was like, wow, I read it, I got excited. I got motivated. I was very, 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 very inspired, but I never documented it. So five years later, where are we? At the same exact place. You will never progress forward until we actually implement these things. So guys, with that being said, for this virtual vision board party, please don't make this virtual vision board as a fun activity, as something you did just to do. But I promise you, oh my Lord, mm -mm -mm. if you actually document and implement this intentionally into your life, you will not recognize yourself this time next year. You will not recognize yourself in the mirror. You will not recognize the relationships in your life. You will not recognize where you have been. Like we, we have to understand that we go in the natural, where we are in the spiritual. Whatsoever takes place in the spirit takes place in the natural. So we have to bring those things to life through us. Okay, the first section, spiritual development. As far as I'm concerned, everybody has their own opinion. But as far as I'm concerned, is I feel like this is the priority. This is the most important one. 
And um, I see, I'm trying to see the chat in case someone, oh, someone just say hello. I just wanted to make sure I, oh, I wasn't missing a very important message um, that someone was sending. So let's do this and this. Uh oh, one second, guys. I'm learning how to, oh. <laughs> hmm. There we go. All right. So, Vision board sections are spiritual development, personal development. This is also extremely important to make sure we map out time every single day, every single, I mean, every single day. If you get it up to half an hour, that's amazing. But what if you just had five minutes a day where you read something really, really important, or you listen to something that nurtured you, that strengthened you, that increased you. Mindset is everything because I know for myself, I don't know about you, but I know for myself, I think and I overthink. I think and I overthink. And I will literally, literally think about something for two weeks before I actually get up and do it. And so with personal development, I'm stretching myself to actually be the person that actually completes the task rather than think about it. And it's even more tiring to me to think about doing something than to just go do it. So it's so important that we develop our first personal development. Physical development, Lord, this is my, um, this is one of the areas that I need the most strength in, but it's also one of the areas that I'm very intentional about. I am intentional about self mastery. I am no longer putting myself on the back burner. I finally, it took me a long time, guys, but I'm finally putting myself first. Um, I'm no longer saying that I will get to the exercise. I will get to the physical mastery because I want to be strong. I want to have great posture. I want to be able to travel the world and hang out at beaches and take long swims and, and high dive and, and jump off of mountains. Yeah, I'm that crazy girl. I wanna jump out of a plane. I do wanna do stuff like that. So I know that when I went like for my birthday, um, the birthday, the year that I met my husband, I met him in July, but in June 27th for my birthday, I decided to go skydiving. That's something I've always wanted to do that I was so afraid to do. But let me tell you why I was so, so immensely, 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 just so overwhelmingly brought me so much joy. I was 330 pounds and they said in order to skydive, you cannot be above 220 pounds. So I knew I had in order to achieve this task that I had to lose weight. And on my birthday, I said, wow, I finally can qualify to go skydiving. Oh, my Lord. And I went, oh, my goodness. I wish I would have thought about it before now. And I would have showed you some pictures. And I went. And it was so exhilarating. I pushed myself beyond my fear, beyond my, 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 my challenges I had with myself. So my goal is self-mastery. I no longer care about the standards of society of what a woman is supposed. I don't care about any of that. I care about me being physically strong. I care about me having a, such a strong core and a strong posture to be able to physically do what I want to do. Those are my goals. I don't know if it's your goal to be able to run, to be able to walk. It's my goal to be able to complete a marathon for all timers in support of my father. That's my personal goal. So I have a, a regiment every day when I get on the treadmill, because at some point I've accomplished three miles, I'm going to need to be able to accomplish five miles. And then 10 miles is my final goal, but I'm at three miles. And that's a great start for self-mastery. You just have to make sure that you hold yourself accountable. And the way you hold yourself accountable is through consistency. You have to be consistently consistent. That's the only way to get through it. You have to be consistent. So that means that if you show up day one and you don't do great, that's no problem. Show up day two, show up day three, don't skip a beat. Show up day four, say you messed up day five, no problem. Don't skip a beat. Show up day six. 
The way you're going to get better and learn to trust yourself is through consistency. And consistency works through all of these areas. Next thing, relational development. I actually have on another slide, but I'm going to tell you now. You have to be intentional about the relationships in your life that you want to develop, that you want to prosper, that you want to improve, that you want to increase your communication skills. You have to be intentional about that. I, I'm, look, I'm, I'm sure you all know that relationships don't just prosper on their own. Like you have to show up for your relationships to be great, whether it be with a child or a parent or a sibling or an employee or a coworker or a lover, it doesn't matter. You have to be intentional about your relationship. So there's this book called The Five Love Languages. If you've never heard about it, get that book, read it, listen to the audio book 5,000 times. Five Love Languages Changed My Life because it showed me how to have relationships with others. Like for an example, I'm a woman that I think when I was telling you about the Mercedes, I told you, I don't really care about labels. The only labels I care about is if my last name is on it and I'm getting paid from it. Other than that, I don't care about labels. So some women may say, my love language is gifts. I need you to buy me roses to feel loved by you. I need you to buy me a Louis Vuitton bag to feel cherished and valued. I need you to buy me red bottoms to feel cherished and valued. I, however, am not that woman. So my love language is time. My love language is your space, your energy with me. So because my husband understands that, like if you give me flowers, but I don't see you for a week because you're gone when I wake up and you're gone when I go to bed, that, that's not going to help our relationship. If you give me a nice Louis Vuitton bag, but you take a two week vacation by yourself without me and I am home for two weeks by myself without you, that doesn't help our relationship. So five love languages actually taught me how to have better relationships with my sons. Everybody has a different love language. And if you're communicating with people through your own personal love language, it's not going to work. I have a son who his love language is not personal time. His love language is words of affirmation. This particular son is learning to love himself and to have high self-esteem. He loves to hear words of affirmation. So when I send him nice positive messages or when I call him and say, son, I'm proud of you. You're doing a great job. That's his love language. If I tell my son, can we spend every weekend together? He'll be like, Ma, are you crazy? No, I'm going to hang out with my boys. His love language is not personal time. So once you understand what someone's love language is and you give that to them, then your relationships will prosper rather than seeing a relationship through your eyes, through your perspective, and trying to offer people what they actually don't even want. Financial development. This goes without saying, but everybody, we got to get our money right, point blank, period. There's no way you are going to deposit your gift in this planet if you don't have finances. And the beautiful thing is that our finances is connected to our assignment, our purpose, and our destiny. We just have to get good at it and then learn the laws of reciprocity and give it out and get paid for it. And that to me is exciting. All right. Now, this right here is going to change your life. If you do this in 2022 and 2022 starts now, if you do this in 2022, this is going to change your life. I call this the transformative triangle. If you really want to transform your life, if you really want a transformation that people will, oh my Lord, they're going to look at you. They are going to need sunglasses. You're going to shine so bright. They're not going to understand what's happening, but something is different. You're walking different. You're talking different. You're showing up different. You don't respond the way you used to respond. You're not angry all the time. You're not sad and depressed all the time. You don't know how many times I have to notify people. Please notify your face that you're alive. So many people say, well, this is just how I look. I just have a flat affect. Look, smile. This will even transform the way you show up. Look, the transformative triangle 
is your vision board, which you guys had part one. So you should be excited about that. You did part one of your three bases, which is what you need, including your written affirmations. And we're going to talk about that today. And I'm actually going to give you an example of how to do one through um, Sandra's um, 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 vision board that she sent and then recorded verbal affirmations. This to me is a powerful triangle. If you put these three together, you're unstoppable. Can you imagine every day looking at what you want? How many times do you think you are going to stop and quit on yourself if you're seeing it every single day? You're just going to be reminded, no, I went past this poster 15 times. I am going to go and get my shoes. We are going for a walk today. We, we're not going to do this all of 2022. We did this in 1999 and 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2000. No, 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 no. We're not doing this in 2022. And then your written affirmations. Of, I told you the power of writing. Your written affirmations coupled with your recorded verbal affirmations in your own voice. Lord have mercy. You're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, we're going to our assignment following our vision board is to write and record our daily affirmations. And we're going to do an example today. You are going to use your vision board as a guide. You're going to write achievable initial goals to set yourself up for success. We talked about in session one, what you don't want to do is to set yourself up for failure. You don't want to say in 2022, I'm going to make a trillion dollars when you have not made a billion dollars, when you have not made a million dollars, when you not have, when you haven't even cracked six figures yet. So what you want to do is write achievable goals. Uh, say you want to lose weight. Your goals will not be, I will lose 50 pounds in one month. I will run a marathon in 90 days. It's like, let's list achievable initial goals to set ourselves up for success. Welcome, 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 mom. So beautiful to see you today. Part two, remember failure is feedback. You want to use it to revise your daily tasks. So say you went on ahead and you actually, you set up, you went on ahead and you set up a plan for yourself. And you said every day at seven o'clock AM, I'm going to work out for an hour. But then you realize, I'm sorry, let me change that example. Say every day at nine o'clock AM, I am going to work out for one full hour. And then you realize, you have a lot of meetings that people want to set up with you at nine o'clock. And you said, well, I get up at seven. I do my meditations and my prayer. I go through my to-do list. I start, you know, documenting some things for the day. I go take a shower. I go do my makeup and my hair. I get ready for all my Zoom meetings from the waist up. I am fly. Don't even think about the waist down from the waist up. I am fly. Okay. I have to do all that. And then at nine o'clock, Someone said, can I meet with you at nine o'clock? But can we talk at 845 so I can get ready for the nine o'clock? And you set yourself up for a time that can be impacted by others. You set yourself up for a time that you can actually, others can, can, implement, can um, infringe upon that time. And you're constantly revising. You say, okay, I'm supposed to do this at nine o'clock. However, Although I'm supposed to do this at nine o'clock, it keeps getting interrupted. So remember, failure is feedback. Failure doesn't say, oh, this is horrible. I'm terrible. Just, just revise it and say, okay, I said I work out at nine o'clock. However, nine o'clock is a time that's constantly getting interrupted. Let me work out at seven o'clock. I know I won't have any Zooms at seven. And if anyone requests a Zoom at seven, the answer is no, <laughs> absolutely not. That's my private time. So if you know, now say you have a death in the family and you get a call in the morning or say there's an emergency in the family that may happen twice a year at 7 a.m. But it won't happen every day. And then this is another thing. Check yourself. 
let, let me tell you what I learned about myself, which is I just learned this this year and it is, I almost laugh at myself with this. Educate yourself on yourself. You know what I learned about myself? When I'm afraid of something, I procrastinate through house cleaning. <laughs> I found that out about myself. So let me tell you what I do. Say I have to prepare for a master class. So say I have to meet someone really important after prepare for this meeting. Or say I actually have to talk to 10 people a day to set them up for a meeting. Or say I'm supposed to be coupling someone with a podcast and I have to reach out to these, what I call powerful and important people. When I'm afraid, I procrastinate. And you know what I tell myself? Oh my goodness, the garage needs to be clean. Let me go ahead and clean the garage. So I, I love to clean. I love my, my environment or, organized. Um, and so I'll say, oh, you know what? My closet, I need to go ahead and do some um, cleaning out. And let me go ahead and, yeah, it's time to down time to downsize. I'm going to take out all the things I haven't worn in a year. I'm going to prepare this big box for the thrift store and I'm going to go drop it off to the donation box. And I realized the other day, I was like, oh my goodness. I said, whenever I give myself this big cleaning task, that's me showing up in, in, as afraid. I said, I'm afraid to reach out to these people for this podcast. I'm afraid to start my own channel with Clubhouse. I'm afraid to shoot my videos for fate, for um, YouTube. And so I give myself these tasks that seem to be good tasks now. Go ahead and clean the garage. Let me tell you, the garage been dirty all summer. It can wait. It can wait. I don't have to clean the garage today, but I do have to contact these 10 people regarding um, coupling with them and doing a duet on a podcast today. I do have to do that. So, you know, check out yourself. You know, use your failure as feedback. Say, am I procrastinating um, because I am afraid to do this? What is going on with your time management that you're not even giving yourself the power to go ahead and actually complete what you said you were going to do? I got a list. I said, I have to contact 10 people a day, but I got to clean my garage first. The garage takes all day. I never contacted 10 people. They on, that's on my to-do list for the next day again. And then tomorrow, now I'm going to clean out my closet. Check yourself. See how you're showing up for yourself. And if you're procrastinating, and if you're, you're, you're using fear-based tactics not to complete your goals, it's super important for you to go ahead and to remember that failure is feedback and just use it to tweak it and use it to revise your, your task. Now, document an action plan for each of the five areas of development. So what we're going to do today is your assignment is going to be, we're going to write affirmations. So if your goal is to lose 100, is to have, is to lose 50 pounds by April the 9th, and you're going to develop an action plan for the five areas of development, that means your fitness action plan is to lose 10 pounds per month for the next five months. To lose 10 pounds per month, I'm going to have a meal plan. To lose 10 pounds per month, I'm going to take supplements. To lose 10 pounds per month, I am also going to implement a workout regimen. So do you see how our vision board becomes our affirmations? Our affirmations become the action plan and then the action plan leads us to success and the achievement of everything that we want. And if you guys are doing this correctly, your vision board is going to be temporary because you're going to be like, check, done, check, done, check, done. Let me get a new one. This is exciting. You're going to record affirmations in your own voice. I want you guys to know, uh, my, my husband gave me this gift. Um, I think it was for Christmas. He gave me this gift. So if you see right here, it says, think up daily affirmations. Um, this particular gift is an, an app. I recommend that you guys get it. I think it's $6.99 a month or something like that. I'm not sure how much it is. It was a gift for, I don't know if it's $9.99 per month. I don't get paid from this app, but I love it because it has 
daily affirmations that's already written out that you can choose or you can type your own. And then what you do is you, you look at the app, you can choose a background to look at, you can choose music, and then you read, you read whatever affirmations you love or you create your own. I, I, I did a tweaking of, I, has, I saw some powerful ones and this was so great guys. We don't have to rack our brains and try to figure so much out. There are so many things out there that will support us, that will help us to achieve our goals. And so many of the affirmations in this specific app, they're so powerful. So I just adopted them. So you take your, you take your app, and in your own voice, you choose a background, you choose a background sound, and in your own voice, you read those, um, you read those affirmations and you record it. And then you can set an alarm on your phone to listen to it every day in your own voice. It's a powerful thing. Listen to me. I told you in 2016, I heard about how powerful it was, but did not implement it. It's a difference between hearing it. It's a difference between learning it and actually applying it. So guys, if you thought the virtual vision board was over effective today, it's not. It's only the beginning. So you want to take all of you have in your visual cortex and you want to actualize it. So do your own research, guys. Use guides, like example, the five love languages, that book, if you want your relationships to get better, however, you're not doing anything to improve your relationships. Your relationships, again, are a mirror of you. How, if you. The Bible says, if you want a friend, show yourself friendly. If you want a positive relationship with love and kindness, show love and kindness. If you want generosity and reciprocity in your relationships, show generosity. It's not rocket science. Whatever you want, you show up as that and you magnetize that back to your life. But what if you don't even know what your partner's love language is? What if you're giving them roses and they just want to hang out with you? They like, the roses are good, but where are you? I, I, I just want to chill with you. I, I heard this song by, um, what's his, Prince the artist formerly known as Prince. And it was, so, I love this song. When I heard these lyrics, I was like, oh my Lord, this is how I feel about my husband. It says, I miss you so much. It says, I'm paraphrasing, of course. It says, I miss you so much. You're in the house and you're just in the next room, but I just miss you so much because I can't, you know, see you right now. And and um, I love it. I, um, I love the fact that they were talking about um, I just want you to be here. You don't even, you don't even have to say anything. And so it's real important for us to do our own research and to say, what is it that I can tweak? I want you guys to know as a psychologist, we did a research on over, I'm going to say it was about 1500 parents and 1500. It was a, it was more children. It was about 4,000. We did a, we did a dis, huge research. So let me give you the results of the research. We asked the parents, what do, what do your children want from you? So the parents put money, video games, iPads, cell phones, tennis shoes, the latest popular clothes. So the parents started listing all the things their children wanted from them. Then we did the same survey for the children. And we said, what do you want from your parents? And do you know what the number one thing was of all these children that we think are so disconnected from us, that love our friends more than us, that love our computers and our phones more than us, the children say, I just want to hang out with my mom. I just want to hang out with my dad. I wish, you know, we used to have game night. We don't do that anymore. The family used to get together. We don't do that anymore. So when we showed the parents that all the kids wanted was them, you know, mamas, single moms, they quit their second job. They were working a second job to buy the video games that the kids really wanted, the mama. They said, I don't want the video game. I want you. And so once we understand what people want, we can give that to them. But this is the thing. How do you expect to have a positive relationship if you don't even know what your partner wants? Like You don't even know what they want. And, and you're giving them roses and they want you. 
And so we have to learn that. So with that being said, do your own research. Like how many people think it's important to understand yourself? <laughs> how, how, come on, guys. Did, did we go to school and we learned math? We had to learn all the concepts, the basics, the foundations of math. In order for us to do addition, we had to learn numbers first. In order for us to under, understand subtraction, we had to learn addition first. In order and under, for us to understand multiplication and division, we had to understand subtraction and addition. So we built upon it. However, when it comes to our lives, what? We don't know what makes us happy. We don't know how many hours of sleep we need. We don't know what foods go well with our bodies. My son was allergic to dairy. And do you know this boy just kept eating ice cream? He just wanted ice cream. And he just kept having all these outbreaks and having seizures and having um, asthma attacks, having constantly. And they said, you have, kid, you, I know you love pizza, but you know, with all the cheese on it, you got to cut it out. The day my son decided to cut out dairy, because obviously his biological makeup does not support dairy, period. It just doesn't. Whatever's in that cow, it doesn't agree with my son. And so the day my son gave up cheese and milk, his life started to thrive. And we all have our own God for ourselves. We need to do research on ourselves. If every single time you eat red meat, you're asleep for two days, like stop it. Like your body doesn't agree with it. Find out what your own formula is. Like guys, can you imagine if every, then this would be my gift to the whole entire world. Can you, what, could you imagine if everybody decided to stop being in everybody else's business? <laughs> And everybody else's lives and gossiping about Beyonce and Jay-Z and talking about what the mayor is doing, what's happening in politics and Black Lives Matter. Imagine if everybody stopped doing that and said, you know what? I'm going to spend 100% of my time being the best me. I'm going to figure out in this lifetime what makes me tick and I'm going to stay away from it. I'm going to figure out in this lifetime what brings me joy and I'm going to run towards it. Like, can you imagine everybody walking around like, hey, everybody would be just so happy because guess what? Everybody would be living in their purpose and their destiny. Everyone would be wealthy. You know, I'm, I'm going to read this poem I have right here that I, give to, I gave to all of my college students and a lot of them said they changed their life. And this is how I try to live my life. Promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. This is my mantra, guys. Look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true. Think only of the best. Work only for the best. And expect only the best. Forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. Give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. Live in a faith that the whole world is on your side and live your best life and be true to you. What if everybody said, I'm going to promise myself to be so strong that nothing disturbs my peace of mind? I've learned not to have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month. Like you don't, you don't, no, 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 no. You, you don't get that power in my life. Okay. You did something. You, you, I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed. Oh yeah. I'm disturbed. I'm frustrated. I'm disappointed, disappointed and some more stuff, but you already did it to me. So you got that moment. Okay. Now I'm not having a bad day. A bad week, a bad month, a bad year, a bad decade. No, 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 no. Not this one. Not this one. So what if we spent 100% of our time becoming our best self and stop judging others and stop comparing ourselves to others and stop saying, oh my God, I wish, I wish, I wish I, um, I think Dr. Janice has the most beautiful hair. She's so amazing. She's so beautiful soul. And you know, my edges, you know, my, I wore micro minis for so many years, these micro base 
pulled out my edges and I can't wear my hair. Like, what, what, why would I spend my life saying, I look at Dr. Janice and I'd be like, dang, she's fine. I love her beautiful hair. She just looked like a goddess queen to me, right? What if we constantly compared ourselves? Like, I wish, I wish, I wish. Why don't I do some research on how to get my edges back? I mean, like, like <laughs> and maybe one day I can look like the beautiful, amazing Dr. Janice, right? So why would we continuously compare ourselves to others and then think less of ourselves? What if we thought only of the best? So many people say, well, I'm only going to expect the worst. So then you can't disappoint me. What a way to live. You always expect the worst? That sucks. I don't, I wouldn't trade lives with you. So let's do our own research on who? On me. Let's do our own research on ourselves. Let's, let's, let's not judge our children. My daughter should be further along. My son should have his vehicle by now. This, uh, stop judging people. Everybody has their own journey. And it is not your, your place to use your beautiful voice and your beautiful gift to judge someone. If, 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 instead of judging people, do this. Be an example to them of how you want them to live. Don't tell them, do it. Because people don't learn what you tell them anyway. I promise you, people do not learn what you tell them. You know what they learn? They learn what you do. And if you want to duplicate yourself and your daughter and your son and a mentee and a person that looks up to you, don't tell them, show them, show them. All right, so I'm gonna do an example. I think I only can see a couple of you guys, but everybody, all right, put both of your hands right here, do an example. Now, what I would like for everybody to do right now with both of their hands is to rub your chin, rub your chin, rub your chin. Rub your chin. Dr. Janice, that's not your chin. Rub your chin. Rub your chin. Everybody rub your chin. Rub your chin. Rub your chin. Tracy, that's not your chin. Rub your chin. Rub your chin. Please, everybody rub your chin. Listen, guys, did you see what I did? People do what you do, not what you say. I just told you, rub your chin. Here goes Dr. Janice, she massaging herself. And Tracy's like, let me turn on my camera and show you what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I said, rub your chin, right? People do what you do, not what you say. You want to impact a nation? You want to impact a community? Do it. And you think it's your job, is, is okay to be poor and to live in lack? How are we going to teach the next generation to create wealth when we're poor? Stop talking about it. Do it. And show them that it can be done. Because I promise you, once you do it, you're going to open the floodgates for everybody else to do it too. Because they know now it can be done. Because not we just said it, we actually did it. So we're going to stop judging. We're going to stop telling our children where they're supposed to be, what, how much money they're supposed to make, what kind of relationships where they're supposed to have. And we're going to show them loving relationships by starting with a loving relationship with ourselves. And the reason why we're so judgmental and the reason why we're so condescending and the reason why we can insult others so easily because that's the conversations we have with ourselves. It's just being mirrored on the outside. So if you really want to make an impact, you do it first. So get excited about that. And if you got nothing else, if you only got that, you got a lot. Get excited about that. All right, next, because I'm ready to see these things. Come on. So last time I promised you guys that we would talk about the formula and most of you guys were in the master class. So we just going to do a quick, quick review on this, but I'm in love. I'm in love with this formula. You know why? Because it's just like Dr. Janice's ebook that I'm going to share with you guys today. It's effective, but simple. It's something you can actually follow. It's very, very simple. Your formula yielding outstanding, undeniable results, yielding, outstanding, undeniable results. 
It is the formula for you, for you to yield outstanding, undeniable results for your life. And you know why I know you ladies are amazing CEOs of YOU is because you show back up. Most people don't find value. Like I told you, if I offered liquor, if I offered some other stuff, it would be a whole lot of people here. But when you start talking about you, people get afraid. People don't like to, to, to work on themselves. That's why we have so many disgruntled people. That's why we have so many people suffering with mental health, suffering with physical disease, because people don't like to work on themselves. Yielding outstanding, undeniable results. And how do you get that? You get that through, this is the formula. It's so simple, but so many people don't do it. Your formula equals this. What makes you happy minus what makes you sad. Whatever makes you happy, make that list, do more of that. It sounds so difficult, right? They, they have this joke that says, doctor, it hurts when I do this. And the doctor says, well, don't do that. Like, why are you doing that? If it hurts, stop it. So what makes you happy? Do more of that minus what makes you sad. Find out what that is. It may be some relationships in your life. It may be some places that you go. If it includes your job, have a plan to release yourself from that. You don't deserve to live that way. The formula. What, what are you good at? So many people are great at something. Everybody has a gift that they're absolutely phenomenally great at. Everyone is great at something. However, they are doing something else and they're wondering why they hate to work. They hate what they do. It's like, it's a drudgery. They have to force themselves and drag themselves to do what they don't want to do. So what are you good at? Let's do more of that. And can I tell you guys something? My mom, oh my Lord. My mom is a line dance, line dancer for life. And she was a line dance instructor and she was teaching us how to line dance. She teach seniors how to line dance. Every family event. My mom was like, everybody get up. Turn the music on. To the left. To the right. To the back. To the front. Now turn, baby. Slide, baby. Like every family get together. You line dance. Just know. Just know it in advance. You line dancing. It's happening. Okay? So that's what my mom is good at. She's good at teaching people how to, my mom, my mom can teach you a dance on the drop of a dime. She can be like, get up by the middle of the song, you know the whole dance and you rocking and rolling with her. She's good at that. And I'm sure it brings her joy, right? So then you have to find out what you suck at. And I really did that on purpose. I could have said, what are you bad at? What are your weaknesses? What? No, stop. I want you to know, I just wanted to slap you in the face. If you suck at something, it's like, I can't do this. So what? Why are you doing it? Like, it's not your gift, girl. Stop it. <laughs> like, if you're not good at it, it doesn't bring you joy. You don't even know how to do it. It's so frustrating to you. Like, you're like, oh, this drives me crazy. So why would you do that to yourself like every day of your life? For what? Stop doing it and gravitate towards what you're good at. So this formula, guys, will get you your life's purpose. What makes me happy is educating others on having aha moments in their life where they could transform their life. What makes me sad is seeing people not walking in their purpose and their destiny. What makes me sad is seeing a woman in a relationship that doesn't match her. It see, makes me sad is seeing a man at a job when he knows he's the best mechanic on the planet. And if he just tapped into how he could open up his own business. He would hate, he could stop hating being a maintenance man and stop hating mopping floors and cussing every time he, he dump a trash can. Do you know, do you know, and, and you're going to find this funny, but do you know there are people who absolutely love to clean? There are people who figure that it is their ministry. It is their destiny to make your area so clean and organized that they actually have hacks. And all these little tricks on how to keep your spot spotless. There are people who like, they love to do that. So why would you just keep doing something that you actually hate to do? You're actually sending signals to your body that you're ready to die. You're cutting off your life 10 years. You're saying, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm not making an impact. I'm not, I don't even feel secure about myself. I'm not happy when I'm at work 
and I'm unhappy when I'm not at work because I'm unhappy while I'm at work. So now I'm 100% unhappy. So that means my cells are unhappy. My heartbeat is unhappy. My walk is unhappy. My talk is unhappy. My relationships have to be unhappy. Why would I have any joy to share when I'm spending my whole life doing what I hate to do? Do you see how that robs us and kills us? Let's find our life's purpose so we can live in bliss and peace and happiness. And this is the clue, guys. Once you figure out what your formula is, it will pay you. Promise you that. Your formula will pay you. And then when I say educate yourself, find out what food agrees with you. Do a test, like journal every day. If one, a food doesn't agree with you, won't you just stop eating it? Some people eat foods and they're like, oh my God, I can't go anywhere because I'm going to have gas all day long. Like, the, wh why? That, that means that food doesn't agree with you. Well, okay, if you want to have an amazing life and you want to set up your affirmations to do great things, if you get up in the morning to exercise, do you know that your morning doesn't start when you wake up? Your morning starts the night before. First of all, you're not getting up at six if you're going to bed at 2 a.m. Like, let's be real. Your morning starts the night before. If you're waking up at five, then that means you're definitely in bed by 10 or 11. If you're exercising at six, that means you definitely have your tennis shoes and your work clothes out, right? If you're going to your home office at nine o'clock, you obviously cleaned your desk the night before. Why do we set ourselves up for failure and wonder why our lives is all backwards? Because we don't take care of ourselves. We're not intentional about making sure that we're successful. If, if, if somebody's coming to your house, question. If, some, if you invited somebody over Sunday at four o'clock for a meal, number one, raise your hand if you will be home at four o'clock to open the door. Question. If you invited someone over Sunday at four o'clock for a meal, would you walk in the door with them at four o'clock? Or would you be home? If you invited somebody Sunday, four o'clock for a meal, does that mean on Saturday, maybe you went to the market and you actually bought the food? Does that mean that Saturday night or Sunday morning, you actually cooked the food? Does that mean that Saturday afternoon, you cleaned your house and you put your good fragrance on and you open up your blinds? Does that mean that you took a bath and that you put on a cute little comfortable outfit? Does that mean you had the wine all chilled? Because why are you expecting a guest Sunday at four? So if you expect a guest Sunday at four, does it make sense to be walking in the door with them? Or would you have to set up prior? Why do we give ourselves less than we give others? Somebody's coming over for a guest. You know you're going to be smelling good. You know that perfume is going to be right. You're going to be cute. Your house is going to be clean. The meal is going to be ready. But when it comes to you, you say, I got an appointment with myself. Monday through Friday, at 6 o'clock a.m., I got an appointment with myself, and you didn't prepare for nothing. You ain't setting nothing up. You know you turning the alarm off because you ain't even setting up. How do you expect to be successful on your appointment at 6 a.m. when you never even set up for it? Your morning doesn't start your morning. Your morning starts the night before. And if you're hanging out and drinking, and I had this young lady, I was mentoring her, and I, honestly, I had to stop mentoring her. She had two children. We had sessions in the morning and she would call me two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed your call. I just woke up. I said, girl, um, excuse me. First of all, I have accomplished 4,000 things already. And what do you mean you just woke up at two o'clock? You have two children. Oh, my sons, oh, they know the routine. They wake up in the morning, they make their own cereal. Then they go get on their iPad and they go turn on the TV till I wake up. They know the routine. I was like, what? I said, y'all young mothers, they all ain't like us, boy. Woo. But I was like, what? So your kids have a morning routine without you? And I said, well, let me ask you a question. So you want to do a mentoring session at three, four o'clock in the afternoon? I'm not available. I'm not available. 
You got to show up for yourself before you want Dr. J to show up for you. You got to show up for yourself first. You need to wake up first of all, notify you. And she says, I can, I drink every night. Um, my boyfriend get off around 10, around midnight. We drink and we smoke. I can't wake up this two o'clock. This early for me. I can't wake up till four o'clock. And I said, baby girl, I'm not the mentor for you. Have a nice life. So I said that to say, you have to be intentional. This is not something that's going to happen through osmosis. You actually have to be intentional about your goals. So exciting, exciting. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on. So we done, guys. I'm going to give you a few announcements. Then we're getting into the vision board. Trouble. Okay, so. Um, I did a master class um, last week. The next master class is actually, I'm going to do them once a month. I'm just going to beef it up and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. And can I give you guys a testimony? Oh my goodness. So you never know who you are impacting. You never know who's watching you. So keep going. When people don't comment on your, on your, on your, social media, keep going. When people don't share your social media, keep going. When people don't say you're doing a good job, you're making an impact on their life, keep going. Because let me give you a testimony what happened to me. I live in Pennsylvania. My pastor was preaching last night in Baltimore City. I drove down to Baltimore City to go to church. A lady walks up to me and she says, oh, Oh my God, you're Dr. Manifa, you're Dr. Manifa. And I was like, um, hi, like, I didn't know where she knew me from. And she says, you know, Dr. Janice McFadden? And I was like, yeah. And she said, she shares her stuff, your stuff on her page. And I've been watching it. And now I'm watching your videos every day and it's impacting my life. She said, thank you. I don't know who this woman is. I'm actually going to ask Dr. Janice. Dr. Janice. I'm going to call her so I can figure out who she is so I can friend her so she don't have to creep on Dr. Janice's page to find me. But she says, I never knew you, but Dr. Janice shared you and I started watching you every day. You've impacted my life. And I just want to say thank you because you've helped me so much. I can't believe I'm standing in front of you right now. Keep going. You don't know, she's never commented on my page. She's never shared any of my stuff. I don't even know who the woman is, but she's being impacted. You don't know who's watching you. You don't know who's making, your, your life is making an impact. Keep going. So I'm doing these classes once a month to the 5th of February. To God say stop, because it's helping me look. The healer needs healing and a teacher needs to teach herself first. So these classes are helping me. Y'all don't know. I listen to the recordings and I be like, girl, that's good. We need to do that. So my next class is on December the 11th. And this one is so good. And I can't even, I don't know how I'm going to fit this into two hours. This is like a week course, but I'm a, I'm a, a whole week's two weeks course that I went to that I'm going to try to squeeze into two hours, but it's called Values, the Success Blueprint. Oh, this thing blessed my life. And I want to share that with you guys. So I hope you attend. Next, um, when you're doing your spiritual goals, if you don't have a church home, please attend our virtual service at Living Word South. We have Facebook Live. We would love to have you Sundays at 1030 a.m. Also, for your personal, for your fitness goals, and your, um, your personal development, no, your physical development and your fitness goals. I am on this wonderful tea. Let's drink some right now. Woo mm. I lost 10 pounds in seven days and it's just blowing me away. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling energized. So we do have some natural organic substances that we can help you with. Go ahead and text the number and we will make sure you get all of these products organically flush your system, detox your body, and just feel amazing. I've heard that these things happen with help with skin because there's so much stuff inside of us that it, it, it shows up on our skin. It clears, it cleans us from the inside out. So if you on your physical journey, go ahead and join me with that. In addition to that, everybody give it up. Woo! 
Dr. Janice, this is so wonderful. I was telling you guys before we recorded this, but let me put this on the recording. This is effective. Listen, guys, it is so simple that you can actually follow it. Um, with me going to school and having multiple degrees and sitting under multiple teachers, I love when people use all these big words and uh, whatever. The bottom line is, if I cannot implement it into my life, it's ineffective, period. I'm sorry. Like you sound great, you sound educated, but however, I cannot transfer this to my lifestyle. One thing about this ebook in $24.99, y'all better get it now before she get discovered. And it's $2,499 because that's definitely what you should pay for it. It is effective yet simple to follow. When I say this is a must read, a must read for all leaders. I don't care if you have your own business, if you are developing your own business. I don't care if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a leader in a ministry, if you're a leader in any capacity. I am actually, I act, I'm, I'm, I should ask her permission. <laughs> But I'm actually going to use this for a parenting class because I have a parent education class that I'm to, that I'm going to be teaching. And this is so simple that I can teach the parents, look, you're managing your family. Implement these effective tools for management and you're going to see your family life turn around. So I recommend every single person. She has actually been one of our most faithful followers, sharing all of our information, attending all of the courses. And so as we should give back to her and definitely purchase this, download it. But I know she's just like me. She's a phenomenal woman. She wants you to share it. Go ahead and share this information to help someone else. So that's exciting. So hats off to her. She did her ebook, and I haven't even done an ebook yet. So she's my shero, and I'm right behind you, Dr. Janice. I'm right behind you. Thank you for not telling me, but thank you for showing me, and I'm going to do it too. Thank you so much. And then next, we want to, I can't wait to get to these. Okay, am I doing it right? All right, so we also have another faithful follower now. I probably shouldn't put this out there, but I'm going to tell you. This young lady, Miss Latrice Crawford, I have so much great respect for her. I want you guys to know that when we did the first class, as soon as I pressed the leave the meeting button, I had a cash app. And she was like, ain't no way in the world this was free. I'm depositing a C into your life. And I thank you so much, Tracy, for doing that. I really appreciate when, when other people value your gift. And, and, I, and I, I, I'm just thankful and appreciative for phenomenal women in my life. But I want you guys to know that she is phenomenal in so many ways. And I, I could tell you she's the baddest hairstylist. I could tell you she has a new youth mentoring program. I can tell you she has her hand in real estate. I can tell you she helps. She does women's groups. I can tell you she do pop-up shops to promote other people's businesses. She does so much. But this is amazing. She's a giver. And she has this, this now you can do this today. You can do this right now. You can start gathering. She will be distributing food for youth and families. She's also giving out coats, hats, gloves, socks, blankets. She is um, serving dinner on November the 23rd. So guess what? There's time. You see your cash app, you see her email and you see her phone number. I will definitely be promoting this video on my Facebook page. So guys, everybody, let's do something to support. I'm going to make sure I send over some quotes. I'm super excited about this. All right, next. I forgot on my last um, session to let you guys know that I do life coaching. I actually had one of the members of my um, masterclass to reach out to me and schedule her first session, which was last Thursday. And we're scheduled every Thursday for life co coaching sessions. And she said, I love your class, but I really feel like you can help me. Do you do individual sessions? And I said, ain't that just like me? I promote everybody else and forgot to promote myself. So listen, guys, I do life coaching sessions. There's a free initial consultation. And then we'll talk about the pay range. But I, I, I just give you strategies to improve your life. If you want support with that, I do that as well. So get excited, guys. Yes, so I'm going to show you. Oh, let me go back. So um, thank you for attending. We said the first hour was a recap. 
and learning how to move forward with these visual boards. And the last one is the reveal. Our last section is the reveal. So um, Sandra was unable to attend. She had a meeting that conflicted, but she said, please, please, can I submit my um my board because she says it's already changed my life i'm already doing things differently I'm, I'm just so excited so she sent her vision board so i'm going to share hers first and then i'm going to see you guys and this is exciting so i'm so excited all right so what i need to do is to pull up hers and we're going to go to a new share and let's see where hers is bum, bum, bum. i had it here um let's see here so oh okay let's go here let's go here nope <laughs> oh there it is great so here's her vision board and she's not here so we're gonna all clap it up for her and get excited for her all right so this is her vision board I haven't seen it yet. So this is her spiritual development. And oh, so let me comment why I'm reviewing it. Notice we said, unless you have a specific action plan, you're not gonna accomplish your goals, right? So we can see here, she's meditating at 6.30 a.m. That's awesome. And look how beautiful this is. On Saturday, she starts at nine. You know what that means? She gave herself permission to sleep in on Saturday. Is anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. Nothing is wrong with that. Um, Ignite in the word session. Okay, so she's obviously reading her word at seven. And then she has church on Tuesdays and Sundays. That's a part of her spiritual development. Of course, I'm speaking for her. I don't know. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Physical development. It says 50. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it means something to her. So physical development, this is her page. Dream makers. The dream makers tribe. Okay, so she has a business. And in her business, she named her team the Team Makers Tribe. She's a part of a multi-level network marketing company called Infinity, which sells health and wellness products. And so her members, people, oh, people with a vision, they're integral, honest, integrity, willing to be coached, committed to help others, and they do it first as a leader. Look at this, guys. Not only is she saying what she wants, She's saying what she wants her people to want, which means that she wants to attract this to herself. She wants to attract people on her team who have integrity, who actually want to be coached. How many people ever met people and you're trying to coach them and they don't want to be coached? They ask you for help. And I know Tracy probably get it by the dozens. Do they ask you for help, but don't follow the directions, Tracy? Come on now. So many people look, I love this and I'm going to steal this from her. Because I have it for myself, but I don't have it for what I want my people to have. So I need to add that to mine. And guys, it's not stealing. I'm going to say, I'm going to share. She's going to share that with me. So she wants 10 team legs. All team leaders will be diamond ambassadors. I'm sure that means something in her group. And that she will be a black diamond ambassador by next year. And all team members. Awesome. Beautiful. Let's see what else she got. Okay, this is her business. So she's basically promoting her business. Oh, she wants to write a book. That's awesome. Congratulations, Sandra. When you watch the video, her book release date. Oh, she gave herself. Woo, she got press crunch down time. By March of 2022, she want to she have the book available at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and Market, and Target by March. The love you give. All right. Let's everybody give it up. Let's put some positive energy towards this book. Write your book, girl. Write it. We send in love and energy to you. Her dream home. Okay, she's going to be in her dream home by May of next year. She ain't playing with these dates now. Woo! So she's going to be in her dream home by May. 
Wow. I love it. I will be borrowing some of these pictures. Love it. I love that bedroom. You see the bedroom? I always wanted a bedroom with a patio outside where you can walk straight out your bedroom outside and just sit outside, have a cup of tea and say your affirmations in the morning. Mm. I always wanted a bedroom with a patio. So I love that. I'll be borrowing that as well. So let's see what else she has. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Is that a motorcycle or something? That girl got a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, wow. that's a three-wheeler. Okay, I don't know yeah. nothing about that. And so go girl, you 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 living a life I don't even know nothing about. So yeah. this is a, and this is a good time for me to tell you this. Listen guys, this is a good time for me to tell you this. You can have whatever you want. Like everybody doesn't want the same thing. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. I don't even know what this is. But this she is basically her living her best life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely getting one of them this summer. I'm getting a slingshot though. Oh, see, I don't even know what a slingshot is. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Listen, we can all want what we want and we can all get it. There's no competition. Like the world is limitless. The world is full of endless possibilities. Um, let me tell you guys a quick story. So I was in love with Marva Collins. Does anybody know who Marva Collins is? So it was this woman. Her name is Marva Collins. She was the Secretary of Education for the United States. President Jimmy Carter, I'm dating myself, President Jimmy Carter asked her to be the Secretary of Education because in Chicago, she started a school for children, Black children, and taught them how to be um, very intellectual at a very young age. And so she started the school and she started multiplying the schools. And I, myself, I always loved children. I started homeschooling my children. I always wanted to create a school. I feel like schools are like prisons for our kids. I feel like if you're an, a, a musician, let's let you play music. If you're into sports, let's let you be an athlete. But we tell everybody, everybody has to do math, reading, science. Like we give everybody the same cookie cutter, but everybody doesn't learn the same way. You know, so I wanted to have that type of school. So I, let me tell you what I did, guys. I, I read Mara Collins book called Extraordinary Teacher. I read her book and I put her on my vision board and I said, oh, I want to meet Mara Collins. I want to meet Marva Collins. When I told this to my college students, they were cracking up. They were like, this lady is crazy. Like, like who wants to meet Marva Collins? So I put it on my vision board. I was like, I want to meet Marva Collins so bad. I just want to talk to her. Guess what happened? She lives in Chicago. So let me tell you what happens. So my niece, which is my brother's daughter, um, went to um, Bryn Mawr School. At the school, Marva Collins was the, um, the guest speaker for the day. My brother had a Mercedes truck. They had a limousine that was supposed to pick Marva Collins up from the airport. Marva Collins um, the limousine company had a conflict. They said they couldn't pick her up. They went crazy. They started calling all the parents. They said, you know, Ashad, you have a Mercedes truck. Um, our guest speaker is coming in. The limousine just canceled. Can you go run and pick her up? My brother says, who? They said, Mara Collins, she's about to do a seminar for all of the teachers. He said, who? They said, Mara Collins. He's like, Marvin Collins is up on my sister's dream, boy. So he calls me. He says, sis, you busy? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? I'm at work. He said, um, I got a little emergency. Um, we need to go to the airport and pick up Marvin Collins. I said, I said, I said, I said, what you, I said, what you say? What did you just say? He said, I need to go to the airport and pick up Marvin Collins. I was like, all right, I, I'm no longer busy. I am available. So he gives me his truck. He said, you go pick her up. But they told her, they told, um, they said she's very picky. Don't speak to her unless she speaks to you. Don't talk to her, basically. She's always working. She doesn't a lot like the people to talk to her. So I was like, pick her up, but don't talk to her. I was like, got it. Took my brother's truck, went to the airport, picked up her and her husband from the airport. She gets in the car and I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm with Marva Collins. And so, I, and she was like, excuse me, ma'am, can we go to Popeye's? 
And I was like, Popeye's? I was like, sure. So I take her to Popeye's chicken. Then we get to the school and I let her out into the school. And then they say, take her to the library. She's going to sit at the library and wait for her turn for the seminar. So I take her to the library. And when she goes to sit down, she's, um, um, when she goes to sit down, um, she's in the library with her husband eating her Popeye's. And she says, um, she, she, her book is there. And I was like, wow, that's an amazing, she, something came up about the book. And I said, wow, that's an amazing book. And she said, you read this book? And I said, oh yes, um, chapter one is about this, chapter two is about that. She was like, excuse me? And I said, I just think you're so awesome and amazing. I wanna duplicate you and everything. And she said, here's my personal email. Here's my personal address. You can come visit me in Chicago. I said, what just happened? I put Marva Collins on my dream board. I said, I want to meet this woman. And when I told the college students that God had to move a woman from Chicago to BWI to make the limousine break down, to make them call my brother, to make my brother call me to pick up this woman, do you know the universe will shake and move everything to bring to you what you want? Because what you want, wants you, you just don't know it. So do you understand that it didn't matter that she was in Chicago? Do you understand it didn't matter that she didn't know me? Do you understand that the universe brought us together? My dream was to meet Marva Collins and you don't even know who she is. But guess what? Everything you want, don't like, like this slingshot Tracy talking about, I don't even know what that thing is. But she wants it. But we tell ourselves, we limit ourselves and say, I can't have it. Maybe, maybe. Let me tell you, this universe will move hell and high water to get you to what you want. So you better keep wanting it. That's all I'm saying. I hope you're encouraged by that story. So she also wants true love. Oh, everybody deserves that. And I, I speak that over my sister. And this is her dream car. What is this? A Rolls Royce Phantom. And her manifestation date is December of 2023 or sooner. That's exciting. Oh, Lord, it's pretty. It's pretty. Her vacation home is at the ocean. Oh, she has a vacation home where she leaves her house and goes to the ocean. Um, I'm, I'm with that. I'm borrowing that too. Don't forget, guys, we can borrow from each other. Vacation getaway to Greece. Okay, I, I've never had a desire to go to Greece, but obviously she does. Can you see how everybody don't want the same things and that there's enough for everybody? There's enough for everybody. Um, she wants an Alaskan cruise, a vacation getaway. Uh, that's definitely not my dream. I wanna go wherever there's heat. I don't like to be cold. So she wants to go where there's snow. That's not my dream, but get excited. That's her dream. And I hope she achieves it by herself. <laughs> all right. So get excited, Sandra. Although you weren't here, you were here and we don't know what a cam am is, but get on your ride, girl, and enjoy it. So I would like to share the screen. Ladies, who's going next? Who's going next? Raise your hand. All right, Janice, I'm going to share the screen, which, uh-oh. So what I do is I make you the host. I make you the host so you can, let's see how to do this. I make you the host and then you are able to share your screen and show it to us. Yay. All right. All right. Thank Everybody you. give it up for Dr. Janice. Get that ebook because it is good. I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing. It is good. It is great. All right. All right. So thank you so much for the opportunity and all of this I see as part of my launch to me um, because there is a quite awareness that this is not a dress rehearsal. And this has allowed me to get back butterflies. Actually, in 2013, I actually got a tattoo of a butterfly after my first um, dissertation comp exam. But I realized I got away from it. But all of this, that's why I say it's a relaunch, a rebranding uh, to me and the butterfly and understanding that I am to fly. So again, because this is not a dress rehearsal. So with that, I'm thriving on purpose. 
And I just pulled some of Jill Scott's lyrics that to keep me focused, that I'm living my life like it's golden. And I'm just focused on always the horizon, butterflies going up. So this is part of my golden living. So I've kind of, like you said, be very specific for December 22. I don't know if anyone saw Adele's concert this past weekend. And at one point, let me just stop to say this quickly. I actually stopped dream, dreaming and thinking that it could be me because I was so much in the day to day. And part of this rebranding when I saw Adele's concert, I was just blown away by the venue. And I wasn't able to get a picture that actually captured the beauty of how it was laid out, the seating and everything. It was just gorgeous. But I'm determined that I want to go here and have uh, this sort of experience, just be in the moment and the beauty and the song and the atmosphere. I'm just all that's part of the living. Then I want to go to Dubai. And Dubai in this bottom picture, as you will see, is a sky pool. I never heard of that. But I'm like, okay, I'm afraid of heights, but I want to get in the sky pool. And that's part of the love, because of course I'm not going there by myself. Um, and part of that, I want to have a room and similar to the bedroom, but I want to be able to see a room that you come out into a pool. So, I consider myself a feminine CEO. So, overall, these are the goals that I want to achieve by uh, November 22. That, yes, I'm a thriver. I had all of these word uh, cloud of things. That first, I want my first assisted living house called them Bernie's Place. I lost my dad last year. And in honor of him, his birthday was in August. This will be my first of eight homes in honor of him, continuing to love the vets as he loved the vets and understanding that there is a need for that end of life care. Also, I wanna continue, this is my new home for my business, which is McFadden and Daughters Consulting. And also this is the avenue of how I get to my new home and to uh, the Bernie's places is being a Mary Kay director. Why? Because I'm embracing fully that I have favor. And also, I didn't go back and mention, I've also been very specific of the amount of money that I want my businesses to be bringing in. And I learned something key important that you don't say you just want a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand, that you be very specific and go beyond so it's not ending in zero. So then in order, how am I going to get there? So I'm, you know, I'm like you thinking in 90 days in order my, in order to thrive and in order to gain favor is one by, um, I have to do the work. So this vision board actually um, tells the work that I have to do via my Mary Kay, because again, you know, Bernie's place is kind of my passion, but one using Facebook and Messenger in order to obtain two new team members. And I need to increase my customer base. And I don't know if you can see it in the corner where it says by, um, I want 100 customers in this next 90 days in order to get my red jacket. And I was very specific about the monthly um, revenue goals for this time. So again, I just kind of focus on Eastern because this is where I am now, but I did develop visions for the rest of the areas as well. And that's me. Let's give it up. Good job. Wow. A sky pool? I've never heard of that. So now I'm borrowing that from you too. I need that in my life. That's exciting. And maybe we could do a girl's trip and we could all go to the sky pool. That would be nice. All right. All right. So who's next? Who's next? I don't know how to share mine. Look, I didn't even know how to do it, but I tried. <laughs> I know we were talking. I know. All so right. I don't know if I can just send them to you and you can share, or do I? How do I pull it up? I is it? Is it on your? Is it on your phone? Yes. 
So when we go to share, I mean, you can go to share. We'll do Serena first and then we'll okay. talk you through it so you can show us, okay? Okay. Okay, unless you want to send the pictures to my phone right now while Serena is doing it and then we can do you next. Okay. All right, so well, I'm, I'm, look, I, I'm listening in as well, uh, but I'm just as new. So I don't, I've never shared anything virtually. So I'm new to it as well. So okay. it, it doesn't matter if she want to go first. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. So why don't we do this? Is yours on your phone? Yes, I have mine um, within the email. So am I able to pull it up from the email and then share the content? If you have it all on the email, just send an email to me and I'll pull it up right here. And, right, you, can talk, and, and you can talk through it. Okay, I'm about to send it to you now. Okay. Wow. She, what, I, what I love about why you're sending, putting it up, what I love about Dr. Janice is that she actually had a specific, specific like financial goal. So every single month, whatever her incoming funds need to add up to $8,334. That is so specific. That makes yeah, the universe hustle. Well. Yes. Hers was like, yes. Every, she, she covered everything. And I love that about hers. And that I'm going to redo mine because I didn't put no words or anything. I just got the pictures because I didn't know what I was doing. It's my first time doing a vision board. That's okay. That's um, okay. But I tried. So it will, um, I love everyone um, presentation. I love everyone um, vision board that they put together. It, encourage, it encourages me, you know, yeah. to go a little further. And just even some of the, um, you know, their goals and their dreams. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you guys for sharing. And Moni, I sent signs in the text. Okay, yeah, I did see it. And then also um, another thing um, I loved about Dr. Janice that I went to borrow is she said, um, the launch of me. I've launched businesses. I've launched projects. Yeah. I'm, re I'm ready to launch me. So Dr. Janice, that is so amazing. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to launch me. That I love that. I love yeah. that. Thank you. Did you send it, Serena? Uh, really quick, because my phone is broken, so I'm working off of uh, my partner's phone. Can you give me your email? I already have it sure. opened up. I just got to send it to you. Sure. It's drmonifajones at gmail.com. It's drmonifajones at gmail.com. And while you're doing that, ooh, okay. All right, Tracy, I love yours. Okay, got it. Sending it now. Okay. Woo! These are good. Dang! I'm be borrowing Tracy's too. <laughs> I'm be borrowing Tracy's too. Okay, so let me go to yours. One quick second, guys. Let's pull yours up. I don't have it yet. You sent it to drmonifajones at gmail.com? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me go back and make sure I see it from my sent folder. Okay. Yep. It, it didn't come up as of yet. So let me wait Hold a on. moment. Let's see. I'll just keep, yep. Re, I got it. Realignment. Got it. Yes, ma'am. And <clears throat> all right, so we want to go back here and share the screen. Y'all, you guys got me pumped about these. Okay, Yo, got me pumped. oh my goodness. It, I, as as we going through everybody's vision boy, it's just like, oh my goodness. Like, I love that you said we can take from <laughs> what we see because it's just so much just flowing through this entire process, and I'm loving it. And it's I feel like you must get excited. <laughs> I'm fired up over here. I'm just trying to compose myself. <laughs> yes. You guys got me so pumped. Like, I'm a big dreamer, but I'm telling you right now, y'all got me going to the next level. And that's how it works. Can everybody see it? Can you see it? Hello, guys. Can you see it? 
Um, um, she said yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Serena, talk us through. All right. So uh, of course, I started off with spiritual development because I believe that um, with anything, your foundation has to be solid within yourself. So for me, my spiritual development is my foundation and that is God and also being aligned with myself. So as you like see the pictures, you see it's all about being planted, being balanced, um, you know, turning into the things that I love and just being in tune with myself. Um, and with that, I love meditation. I'm um, getting into and very, uh, I just love everything about like the chakras. I believe um, in alignment and aligning myself. That's why I call my, um, this portion of everything, my vision board, the realignment, because that's what it is for me. Um, and ultimately, as you can see in the, in the middle, it say like, God, I trust you. I had to put that big and dead center because I have to learn to trust God and put him first and stop trying to do things myself. So that's like my focus of my spiritual development and just letting him have his way in my life. And ultimately, I'm very purpose driven. I do have um, like what um, Dr. J was talking about as far as, um, you know, taking the skill that you have and turning it into, uh, you know, your lifestyle, turning it into, you know, uh, what's possible. So for me, that is just that's how I've always been and that's what I just had to refocus myself to do so I'm all about purpose and uh using what God has given me so on the left you see my goal is to pray every morning and every night um I didn't put a time but I'm striving for seven because I believe um that seven is about completion so 7 a.m every day is the goal um to meditate for 30 minutes um one hour per day I love meditation. I think it, uh, I believe it allows me to center myself, um, give myself that stillness that God wants for me and that my spirit needs from me um, in order to be more in tune with myself and then also read one scripture a week. Um, just to not push myself too hard, but at least get enough because I put a lot in all this. So, yes. Awesome. All right. Next one. Physical development. So for me, uh -oh. physical development, it's okay. <laughs> physical development, uh, for me, I am experiencing, for, for the last year and a half, I've been experiencing sciatic nerve pain uh, that is to the point, been extreme to the point where um, if, I work, if I walk for 30 minutes, I start to feel um, that area of my back become inflamed. So that is a focus for me. Um, and I'm very um, interested in yoga. So that's the start of my physical development is just um, doing more yoga, um, obviously eat more fruits and vegetables and drinking lots of water, which those things I already do, but the yoga is the go-to. Um, I want to stretch every morning for 30 minutes to reduce that lower back pain. And that is something that can happen with doing yoga and eating right. Um, do one hour of yoga every weekend, which I have that time to do. And then um, eat more fruits and vegetables with each meal, like I said. So I've, I already eat fruits and vegetables, but I don't do it with every meal. So that'll be a push for me. But I'm excited to do that because I want to see myself physically better. I want more energy. And it, I'm not going to go through all of it, but I put down the benefits of yoga because I know um, the, uh, the benefits of it and how it can help me in all these areas. Awesome. Yes. Next is personal development. Um, for me, personal development just looks like getting more in tune with myself, which is why you see the um, the chakras being more aligned with myself. Um, grand rising. I, oh, I covered it up. I didn't realize that it just says grand. <laughs> but uh, grand rising is something I say with my fellow um, with my fellow fellow doulas. Um, I'm in a pro a mentoring program right now to become a doula. So we say grand rising to each other is just something that gets to start it in the day. Um, and then I had to put three of the books down that you uh, recommended to us, Dr. J, because those are the top three that I want to start reading immediately. So I put that down on my personal development. So it's uh, read one new book of personal development per month. I'm trying to challenge myself because I tend to get sleepy when I read but I want to start getting through my books and completing them. Um, continue to do yoga for one um, hour every weekend and then learn about the chakras. So that's for my personal development, just to get more in line with myself. Awesome. 
financial development. That's a big one for me right here. So um, my goal was to be- um, Stop for a second. Yes, ma'am. In addition to the dream board, the vision board, we always have to be in tune with what we say. Okay. When you announce every other slide, you just got into it. When you announced the financial slide, you said, well, whoa, this is a big one. Mm -hmm. We're going to attack this as achievable as everything else. Yes. If you make yes. it big and you say it's big, you're going to put it outside of yourself. And what okay. you are doing is you are repelling yourself away from it because you just told your brain this is something too large for us to accomplish. Mm. But whatever you say after that, your brain's job is to keep it away from you. Away from you. Now that I want you to have it, I want you to reframe that because whatever yes. is on this page, I want you to have it. So speak yes. that differently. Fre reframe that for me, please. I got it. I got you. I got me. Financial development. So these are my goals that I plan to accomplish. Okay. So first and foremost, let me go through the pictures. Oh, well, let me go through the goals. Be your own parent self-discipline is one big thing for me and i believe that i can achieve i will achieve financial development through self-discipline being my own parent disciplining myself um as far as uh you said uh don't overdo it do what works for you right now so for me um my plan is to save a hundred from each of my paychecks um and that is reasonable that is uh reality that is something that can be done um, and then learn one thing on financial development each week, which will also intertwine with my um, personal development. And excuse me, um, the pictures are so significant because I want to own uh, or I plan to have an art gallery, multiple art galleries. I'm very I love art, everything about art. And I actually want to own um, at multiple art galleries where I can showcase other people's art and give them a platform to showcase their art because art is big for me and I know as other people out there like how will we talk about now find what's for you and do that so I'll, art is for me I'm gonna do that and I want to give that platform to other people to do the same and the picture with the word in my hands I'm going to get financial freedom because the world is in my hands. It's what I make it, is what I believe it can be, and it's what I believe I can achieve, which I can get it all. So you see my little farmhouse in the bottom right-hand corner? Uh, that's my farmhouse. I love uh, acres of land, horses, everything about just being out in the nature. Like, that's me. So I definitely plan to have a farmhouse. But then I also want a family house. I want a house big enough to hold all my family members, have us all over there, and just having, like, not just holidays, more than that. I love my family and I just want to be with my family that close. <laughs> so that is me. <laughs> and that's what I'm currently building, generational wealth. I want to do something today that will live on forever to be able to benefit my future children, my nieces, my nephews, and just everybody that I love. So yes. And my family has not experienced financial uh, freedom. So that is something that I want to provide for my family. Awesome. relationship development i had to put my uh my healing crystals on here so the crystals you see are all for um helping to heal the throat chakra i'm learning to be more vocal um i have um a tendency especially and i had to put family on there um me and my family don't have the best relationship but i would like it to be better and um i with me being the baby especially with my siblings it's very difficult to express myself and and to be heard so for me that's why i put many of the things that you see um but it's just a reminder don't be afraid to speak up for yourself um, just have effective communication, you know, make sure that you emotionally ready to go into the conversation. That's why I got, are you ready? And then you see uh, Tiffany Haddish, she ready. If you know, her, that's what she said. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> I believe you have to be emotionally ready to go into a conversation in order for it to be effective on both ends. And then I also had to put, um, I, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the little shadows that you see, that's about holding space. I believe in, in order to have, um, to build relationship development, that it's not only about communication, but it's about holding space for a person. And I am very um, good at that, but that's just a reminder that, you know, 
to to be there for others and also be there for myself but I have to be there for myself in order to be there for others so yes and down at the bottom it's just me turning up the volume of my voice because I'm ready to blow it up <laughs> yeah yes. uh now the major goal and we can we can uh stop here because I don't want to take up too much time. I feel like I didn't already took up too much time. No, you're um, fine. We, we have 25 more minutes and Tracy's next and we're done. Okay. All right. So this I am fired up about and y'all can hold me accountable because this will be done. Okay. It, it's non-negotiable. <sighs> so this is my realignment. Uh, my major goal is to showcase my artwork. I'm big on art. I love art. Art is what God has instilled in me to share with others, and that's what I plan to do with it. Um, I love art to the point where I want to produce um, art that allows people to overcome challenges in life, and I believe that that can happen. So that art is my voice, is my passion, it's my skill, it's my everything. So um, AGG stands for Art God Gives, and that is the title of what my art will be as far as when I start showcasing it, because everything that I will put out is based on the visions and, um, you know, just what God has poured into me in order for me to produce and put out and be fruitful to show people, you know, this is what God is doing in my life. Um, so this is everything I need to do that. Um, obviously, all art materials. Um, Let's see, I put two, but as far as to begin uh, developing my expertise, I want to, uh, well, I plan to work on realism because I want it to look uh, realistic to the point where it jumps out at you. And it's like, when you look at this, you can't, you can't decipher as far as, oh, it, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. No, you know what it is because it's realistic. Um, and then as far as my time frame, as far as what um, I plan on giving it, Monday through Friday, an hour a day since I work Monday through Friday, but an hour is good. Um, and then Saturday, Saturdays and Sundays, I'm off. So four hours a day for that. And I'm excited about that. And I already have uh, many art materials to get started with that. So yes, I'm just excited about what's to come. You won't have to go through this because this is a lot, but I went, that's the, my assignment as far as my 12 month, one year from now and one month from now from e for each um, development. And then on the right is the major goal as well for the 12 month, one year from now and the one goal. So as far as the major goal, 12, um, 12 month goal is to showcase my art in the gallery, which I already have a venue um, that I already like and want to use. And I plan to have 24 paintings to put on display and it's going to be a full gallery experience. And then um, same thing as far as one from one year from now, I pretty much couldn't decipher those. I feel like there was, those were the same. And then my one month goal is to produce uh, two complete paintings per month. I tend to overthink and overdo it, but I already have the visions God put in me to put on a canvas. So I need to stop playing. So I give myself two weeks for one painting, which is two, two paintings in a month. So it can be done. Wow. Oh, wow. That was amazing. You guys have overdone this assignment. You guys are wowing me right now. That was amazing, Serena. I'm so Thank thankful. You, um, you have, and what I love about yours is that you have a specific action plan. You have a specific task time to complete it. You have words to go with all of your pictures. This is amazing. That is phenomenal. All right. Now we are ready. Four, Miss Latrice Crawford, we are excited. So what we're about to do is, um, let's see, I am going to open the hers up. Let's see here. Um, there is a way to do it, but I'm not sure. Let me go to this. Let me go here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Go here and go here. All right, great. So how do I, I'm going to come back to share. All right. You ready, Tracy? Yes, I'm ready. I have awesome. the call. Mm -hmm. I'm going minute. to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. okay. Share screen. Okay, there we go. Here we go, here we go. 
So we are going to. Can you put the um, prayer? Um, I think I did it back. Why did why did it copy like this? Like it went, that. It went it out of it. order. It went okay. out of order. But oh, these are good. So let's start with. Um, okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, the, is that the spirituality one? No. Um, is the one with the prayer rooms? Go down. Did I send that one? Oh wow. Oh, this one right here. Nope. I had one with the prayer room. This looks like a prayer room. Oh, that one. Yes. So okay. okay, that's the one. All right. So this is um I always dream to have a prayer room inside of my house. Mm -hmm. So I know I put the Bible in the cross first because I know I cannot do anything without him. So he's the center of everything. The I always dream to have a library. I love books. Right now, I have my books everywhere. I love to have a library inside of my home. The young lady that's sitting there at the desk, I always want... Um, and it's, I, I'm praying for a good assistant to help me orchestrate and get my things in line and keep me in line of a lot of um, projects that I have going on and with my goals and dreams to help me carry out and do um, research. Someone that I need on the ground, um, someone that I need to um, get out there and network and um, meet people that I can reach sometimes. Um, this is my office at the bottom. I want a building to have an office space in. I dream to have, this is the one in the corner is a event building. I want an event building. I want my event building. Um, I love medieval times. I love the prince. I love, the, I love princess. I love the king. I want a, 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 a event hall that's shaped like a, 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 a palace. Um, you can go to the next one. You okay. can go to the health, health, health wise, the food and the exercise. Okay, so I want a gym inside of my house, but I want my gym to face the outside. I love water. I'm a water person. Mm -hmm. Um, to get my health, um, I want my health to be better than what it is. I want to work on um, self-care as far as my health, healthy eating. Um, I want to exercise more. So I am working towards that. I get up in the morning. I'm on the fifth watch. So my goal is to stay on the wall and not come off the wall, to stay focused, stay in line with the father first, and then my exercise and my meditation and my reading. And to continue on eating the right foods, the fruits, the salmon. I don't eat no other meat. So I want to just, this just a reminder of continue on to go, to continue on going down the path that I'm going with my eating. Awesome. And which one is next? Um, the next one is, okay, you can go to the house. It doesn't uh -huh. matter where you go at now. I just wanted to put those. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yes. This is my dream home. This is my closet. Mm. I need a big closet. Um, this is my closet inside of my home. The first one is my home. The other little rooms on the side, they my movie theaters inside of my home. My bathrooms inside of my home. My, can you stroll that up a little bit? I, don't, I can't see the bottom. Okay, I, I'm a big massage person. That's self-care for me. I love to be massaged. I want a massage um, room in my home. I want to, I want, um, yes, I want a massage room in my room. That, it looked like a vacation home in the back, but no, that's going to be my home. I want to bring vacation outside of my house. Woo, at I love it. Oh, sorry. That was exciting. Sorry. <laughs> I love water. I love water. I love the way the resorts look. I don't want to come home when I go on vacation. I get depressed when it's time to come home. So I want to bring vacation to my home. 
So that's how I want the back of my home to look. Hmm. And you have to have money to do all of that. So that, that's why I have the money in the middle. <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, money again. You have to have money to, to do these things. This is my boat. This is this is my boat. This is my car, my dream car. This is inside of my private plane. The rooms that you see in blue and black, they're the rooms that I want inside of my plane. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Lord Jesus. And it's going to happen. I'm going to let y'all know it's happening. Speak in the atmosphere is happening. I never did a dream, um, a vision board before, but everything I ever dreamed of and anything that I ever wanted to do, I said I was going to do it. And I spoke it out of my mouth and people have told me, oh, you ain't going to never be nothing. You ain't going to never have nothing. You ain't nobody. You can't do this. You can't do that. And my outspoken voice say, oh, watch me. I will show you <laughs> everything that I ever spoke out of my voice and out of my mouth that I said I want, I received. So I know all of this will be mine. Mm. Yes. Don't forget us. We, we, we want an invitation. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> and I thank you for the vision board because I've never done a vision board. And I'm like, wow. I've been speaking it out of my mouth. I already spoke it out and everything I spoke out, I spoke it into existence. And I put I put God first. And anything I ever have done, I always put him first. And I always kept my faith that it will happen. I will receive it. And it did happen. Amen. Amen. Um, this is my dream. I want to go. These are the places I want to go. I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Egypt. I want to go to Rome, I want to go to Paris, and I want to go to Hawaii. Wow, beautiful. Let me see. I think, was that everything? And that was it. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my goodness. Ladies, I am overwhelmed right now because this was, turned out way better than I thought it would. Um, you guys have expanded my visions and my dreams. Um, I love in um, um, Sandra um, how she not only had the character and defining herself, she developed what she wanted for her team members. That's a whole nother level, you know? Um, so uh, I want to go to Dubai. Um, Dr. Janice wants a sky pool and Tracy wants to go to Dubai. So we're just going to snatch Serena. We all, we just need to go to Dubai. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I love how um, Dr. Janice has specific $8,334 per month. Yeah. So I'm going to get my dollar amount together and I'm, I'm going to have everybody speak. Um, I love um, how Serena had specific action plans and dates. Like we all be going to her, um, her opening of her art gallery and she's good guys. She's not good. She's actually great. Like her art is like, wow. And so that's going to be such a treat. And I love how I'm still in, I'm taking from Tracy. I'm going to have a massage parlor in my own home. And how about your house is so phenomenal that your vacation, you, it's at your house. Like that's crazy right there. So that just took my mind to a whole nother level. Um, you ladies are beyond phenomenal. Um, so the next step is to take your dream board and it's something you want to see. I'm glad it's in your phone. I'm glad it's um, documented. So why don't we take the next level, print it out, put it on a poster board and put it somewhere where we can actually see it. Because what happened is our phenomenal, amazing dream board Will it'll just be a dream inside of our phone, but let's look at it and let's document affirmations as to how to complete that. Serena made it very simple because if she's going to complete 24 arts of work in 12 months, then that means every two weeks she has to complete one piece of art. So that means her daily affirmation is, I'm so thankful and grateful that I completed my artwork by 
whatever the two week date is. And she stayed at for the two weeks until it's done. And so you speak it in the present as though it is already done. And then just keep checking off your list. If you see that Tracy, her whole life, she's always outdone herself and proved others wrong by doing what she says she's going to do. Imagine what's going to happen now that she put a picture to it. And now she can document it on a paper. And now, like she said, she's going to add words to it. She saw Dr. Janice, oh, I need to add words to mine. And now, at, at, now if she was doing that, just visualizing, imagine seeing it, writing it down, speaking it in your own voice. Imagine what's about to happen now. You ladies are absolutely amazing and phenomenal. Um, I thank you guys for taking this journey with me. And so I can't believe it. I, I, we have plenty of time left. So we still have about five minutes. So please speak and talk to me, guys. We have seven minutes. Um, we don't have to take up the whole entire time, but we still have that time. So who wants to speak first and about this journey and um, what it's done for you? Um, Janice, Dr. Janice? Thanks. It's allowing me to dream again. So that's really, really good. And just actually knowing and making it manageable, bite-sized pieces that I can implement. And like I said, the main thing is for me to bet on me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm Serena. I just want to thank you. Every time I talk to you, and truthfully, you are one of the relationships as far as who I thought about when I was thinking about relationship Aww. development, because Aww. you continue to reignite my spirit every time I talk <laughs> to you. And it's like, why are you not keeping in touch with this lady? Like, get <laughs> like excuse my language, but it's like, get your shit together, Serena. <laughs> like, for real. But yes, and it's, that's just, I, realignment is just everything. I appreciate you. I thank you because that's what I need. And I need to stop playing and get it together because you already know I'm one of those people that got everything. We all, all us ladies, we have every tool that we need inside of us and we just have to dig deep and use it. And, and when we see what comes of it, it's just from like, what in the world was I doing? Like I could have did this in less time. Like, and I know that's possible. And that was just like my, especially with after my birthday passed, my uh, focus, my my go-to um, word is just action. I got the vision. I got everything I need. Now it's time for action. So that's, that's what we all got to do. I wish all you ladies the best. And you can definitely do everything you put on your vision board because you already are amazing. Okay. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing all your dreams come true. Oh, yeah. I look forward to seeing yours come through as well. I can't wait. Please keep me updated on your grand opening. I love art. Thank as well. you. I will. I will. Thank you. And yes, that's my that's my go to. I always tell myself, just do it. I love the Nike sign. Just do it. I love, just do it. Are you still talking? I don't know if you were cut off. No, I'm done. Thank you, Monifa. It was an thank awesome you. class. I, I'm an awesome class, as always. I thank you for always continuing on um, encouraging us. I thank you for the vision that you have set in place for us to be able to put out, to direct us to put our stuff out there, to put on a vision board, because I have not ever done a vision board. Mine was always in my head, and I just do it, or I speak it. So I thank you, because it had me, it had me, um, it, it got me to have something to look at, and to look towards. I'm going to put mine on my wall, in my room, so yeah. I can face it when I wake up, and when I go to sleep, I can see it. So I'm grateful to it. And I, I am good. I'm not, I don't, y'all say stealing it or using it. It's not stealing or using it. It's education, educating yourself. You taught, you was taught. And now it's for us to teach someone else. So we have to take anything that we learn and we get from each other and share it. That's why we receive it for us to give it back. It's not for us to keep it to ourselves. It's not stealing. I can't stand when people say, oh, she stole that from me. That was my idea. No, and I tell people all the time, how many different brands of bread do they sell in the store? You're, it's not one brand of bread. Not one person just made the bread. 
So it's out there for all of us to share. It's not for us to keep it to ourselves. It's for us to share. Right. So Even if it is the same material, you so what? It's a whole world out here, and there's plenty of people that live in it that need to see it. It don't take one person to help many people. It take a lot of people to help many people. It took a village to raise me. And that's what we need to get back into. So I thank you. I love y'all. I appreciate all of y'all sharing your vision with me. Y'all gave me um, new ideas. Y'all gave me new vision. Um, y'all showed me um, things to implement on my vision board. So I thank you. I'm not stealing it, but I'm going to use it and I'm going to pass it on to the next person. Yes. So I'm going to put a little pressure on you, ladies. Um, today is November the 20th, 2021. We will reconvene on November the 20th, 2022. And we want to see what we've day. accomplished. We're going to yeah. see what we've accomplished. Well, I'll see what Saturday it is that third weekend in November. And I'll send you an invite. I'm actually developing a Facebook group. It's going to include my participants in my master class as well as the vision board, a way for us to just stay connected, to ask each other questions, um, to encourage one another, motivate one another. If we found, if we have two people on the team that love to bake cakes, they can get together, start a business, whatever, we can collaborate. And so I'm going to start a Facebook group, just a private group um, for people who attend the master class and the vision board. So we can continue this. It doesn't have to stop here, but we want to continue this. I am, I am over, I'm like, I am overjoyed with what you guys will be able to accomplish. But what's going to bring me more joy is when I see it manifest in your life. So let's actually do this, guys. Let, let's not leave it in our phone. Let's actually, actually do this. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Start, start making your dreams come true. Start now. Start today. Love you guys. Have a great day. Love, Love you. you. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Stop recording.